What's up guys? Welcome to The Chess Giant. This is Solomon Ardell, and today we'll be counting down the top 5 chess movies of all time. At number 5 is Magnus, a 2016 documentary following Magnus Carlsen's contention for the world championship against Vichy and Ant. It explores how Carlsen and Anand prepared for the tournament, and it also gives round-by-round -round coverage of the games, and highlights the huge impact that Anand had on the game of chess, and how he developed chess computers that could assist opening preparation. Anand would memorize thousands and thousands of opening lines and constantly look to computer programs for assistance. Carlson, on the other hand, put a higher emphasis on becoming a better chess player, striving to improve his tactics and positional knowledge of the game, and also try to put Vichy in positions that he had never seen before so that he would have to think for himself. Carlson's biggest fear was that Vichy would win a game in which he did not even have to think due to his astounding opening preparation. This documentary compounds its technical accuracy with a great job of following Carlson's personal life and thoughts, and I highly recommend it for any chess fans out there. At number four is Bobby Fischer Against the World, a 2011 documentary covering the life of Bobby Fischer, the 1972 world champion who carried the United States to chess stardom after defeating Russian Boris Spassky. The symbolism of this match was enormous due to it being during the Cold War, and there was a huge audience watching. The documentary even shows rare footage of the match, serving as a vital piece of visual chess history. Obviously, a large emphasis is placed on the match, but the film also decently covers his entire life until he passed away in 2008. If you are passionate about chess history, especially in political and economic circles, don't miss this one. Up next, at number three, is Brooklyn Castle, which follows kids in the inner city of Brooklyn as they look to defy the many odds stacked against them. 65 of these students live underneath the poverty line, but they have the best chess team in the nation and use chess as a tool to strive towards higher education. The film mainly focuses on five students who all benefit from chess in different ways. Some use it in hopes of getting a college scholarship, others benefit more in general, especially in the classroom, because of the study habits they learn through chess. Brooklyn Castle also touches on how generally chess helps with academic attention span and many more important growth areas and life skills. I highly recommend this to anyone who just needs an uplifting movie night. It's so much more than a documentary about chess. It's about people dreaming and breaking the expectations put on them. Awesome, awesome message. At number two is Searching for Bobby Fischer. This was based on a true story, but it's not actually about Bobby Fischer. It's about Josh Waitzkin, a young American chess prodigy in the 1980s. After Fischer won the world championship in 1972, everyone wondered who the next great American player would be and a massive amount of attention and pressure was put on Josh Waitzkin to fill that role. The movie covers that early period of his life and chess career. It's well made, the acting solid, and it highlights how hard Waitzkin had to work to improve at chess, and also how his character grew and developed through his experience, which I personally take as a big emphasis in the movie. He starts to share, to care more about the needs of others, and to maintain good sportsmanship in both winning and losing. This movie is great for anyone who enjoys entertaining yet accurate reenactments of history. And our number one chess film of all time is Queen of Katwe, a 2016 film based on the true story of a Ugandan girl named Fiona. Sadly, her father passed away when she was only three, and because of this, she was not able to afford schooling. She and her mother were forced into the slums, and needless to say, life was very difficult. One day, she was looking for food and by chance bumped into Contende, a missionary from Kampala. Contende used chess as a way to reach out to people and build their communities up, so of course he invited Fiona to come play some chess. She fell in love with the game of chess and continued to work hard at it, and her skills and knowledge of the game grew until she became the junior chess champion of Africa and was able to represent her country in the chess Olympiad held in Russia. To this day, she is affectionately known as the queen of chess in the slums of Uganda. While she began her journey in those slums, she is now financially free thanks to her hard work and dedication. And the movie itself does an amazing job of communicating the story. The acting was exceptional as it was headlined with talented stars, and this film has an amazing message. I highly recommend all five of these that I've listed, but most of all this one. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to leave a comment with your personal ranking of the top five chess movies of all time. These lists are very subjective, it's all right to disagree and I'm looking forward to reading everyone's different opinions. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to watch another one, you can click or tap up here. And I've got a lot more high quality chess content on the way. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down here. I really appreciate your support.